Hello, yes, the financial potential of social media, you know, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Let's just put this food for thought to you. Say Paul Joseph Watson was serious about wresting control of this country from the hands of the traitors, sellouts, careerists, and handing it over to genuine patriots that were going to put the British people and this country first. If he was really serious in that, he could start a political party here in Britain tomorrow and to get it up and running, to launch it, he could ask for a one-off, a one-off donation from his million subscribers of a pound. That's all, a pound. That million pound would be enough to get any political party up and running and with a decent sizable headquarters and everything else that comes with it. But he's not going to. He's going to carry on making videos talking about Google and diversity. I was reading Socialist Worker before online and there's a bin strike in Birmingham and the, uh, the left, the Socialist Workers Party, they've been behind it, right? You see, we can easily get behind causes like that, strikes like that, quite easily. You see, the cuts the Tories are making and uh, many, many other um, cuts, that's the word, yeah, cuts, I suppose, they're making. It's due because there's not enough money in the pot to finance everything and given the volume of migrants coming into the country who also need an endless pot to cater for their needs and whims and whatever, right? No wonder there's no money to... Uh, sort the bin strike out to pay the bin men more money or whatever whatever the uh, grudge of the strike is, right? Laying men off or whatever. But anyway, all the same, all the same, right? We could be behind issues and causes like that, but we're not. Paul Joseph Watson's talking about Google and diversity. I was in the doctors the other day with my dear mother. There was uh, a family in there, a man, a woman and a child. They were like Syrians. They weren't Pakistanis at all. They were still Arabs. She had a headscarf on the woman, she was quite conservative in her dress and so was the gentleman she was with. And they had a little child. But what I noticed, they had an interpreter with them that I had to explain to the, uh, the staff, the uh, receptionist that were working at the doctors, whatever it was they had to explain, I don't know, it wasn't near enough. But there was an interpreter there. And I've looked up that. Interpreters are costing this country now £100 million a year. No wonder they can't. Uh, pay the bin men the wages they need or whatever it is, the uh, gist of the strike, whatever it is. I never read it all, it just caught my eye before. Uh, but anyway, there's a bin strike in Birmingham, right? And it's all, the Socialist Workers Party going about cuts, uh, they're making cuts, the Tories are making cuts and this, that and the other. And, uh, they've had to lay off bin men or whatever it is. But I got the gist of it, I just scanned through it, just looked through it. But my point being is we can get behind issues and causes like that. You see... The public's not interested in the bigger issue um, matters that are happening around the world, but it's in the Middle East, North Korea, Trump or whatever. They want to know what you're going to do locally where they feel the effect of these things. Of course they don't want a nuclear war between uh, North Korea and Trump. I'm sure they don't. But what I'm saying is that these issues like not getting your bin, bins emptied on a weekly basis and your rubbish starts piling up, that really does affect you and annoy you and also it causes hygiene problems. So we can get behind issues, causes and tragedies like this, but we're not. So getting back to Paul Joseph Watson, he could start a political party tomorrow. So could Nick Griffin. He's got 28,000 likes, followers on Facebook. Ask for a pound a week off them. We could get a political party up and running, no problem. So I'm going to put this to the test because I would like my subscribers to give me a pound, a pound a fortnight, a pound a month, right, a pound a month, whatever, and let's build that and build it, you see, when this new political party's formed this year, we've already got a headquarters, which is this house, right, my home, but we'll be relocating when more money comes in, right, because there will be money coming in, trust me, we will be relocating, hopefully, to the city centre, and with the help of social media, and other fundraising ventures, we can build a new political party, we can, and we can make social media pay for it, we can use social media, we can uh, call out to our people, the forgotten beleaguered white working class, that if you want change, you've got to help us, I'm sure they will, and if social media has the power we're made to believe, then we're on a winner. Okay, thank you.